Greetings. I am going to show you how to program a pendulum since I've been talking about pendulums in a couple of my videos. If you don't have one, you can buy one if you want, or you can make one. Take a key, hang it on a string, you have a pendulum. Um, you could take a, um, a, a weighted fish thing, weight, and um, connect that to a string, and there you go, you have a pendulum. So now I'm going to show you how to program it. I'm switching my camera now. Alright. And it's a mess in here. So, here we go. Excuse the mess. Here we go. Actually, this make this easier. I'm trying to get the best way to do this. The best angle. Can you tell I do this a lot? Okay. So, to program your pendulum, you draw a plus sign. Right, yes on the top, no on the side. And first, show me yes. Show me no. You can also, uh, this pendulum is already programmed, so it's going to do it anyway, but like, um, if you want to put something in, like an affirmation, I've actually used the pendulum's manifest, so uh, let's use, uh, something manifesting-wise. Um, I am receiving five dollars. Mm -hmm. And my dog's gonna bark incessantly just because I'm videoing right now, filming, whatever. Okay. And then, um, you could do that every day until you get your manifestation. Uh, so you're sort of active in that. Um, so you want to remove something like. Uh, I'm trying to think of something to remove. Um, remove negative energy from my astral body. There we go. So, clockwise is spinning something in. Counterclockwise is removing something. And I just thought I'd mess around with removing negative energy from the astral body. I don't know why. <clears throat> and it's done. Now... If you're trying to get the pendulum to work and it doesn't don't worry about it i've been playing with the pendulum since i was a kid um just playing around messing around with it so um what you could do is say you're programming it for the yes and no if it's not swinging because sometimes it just won't it's this is a, a skill like everything else um make it swing you know um move your hand to make it move back and forth um, and then for the no do the same thing um, uh, swing it side to side to program it for now and then just practice and even in the beginning you you might have to move it a little bit to get it to move I mean I don't have to I just play around with it uh, I don't know Spin. I swear I'm not moving my hand. Of course, I keep saying that now. Everyone's gonna think I'm really uh, spinning my hand, swinging it. I can't.
can't talk because my dog is distracting me. Normally what you would do, I'll see if I can put it on my leg, is you would hold it so, you know, your body won't move. Or your hand won't move. But anyway. That's just spinning. Um, I didn't ask anything. It's just randomly spinning. Oh, yeah. I'm just messing around. Um, anyway. That is how to use a pendulum. And I'll make another video about how to use a pendulum more for manifesting. And then I'll make another one for using a bobber too. A bobber is just something on um, a rod mm. where it bounces up and down. Mm. And it's the same thing. It uh, will bounce yes, bounce no, spin clockwise, spin counterclockwise, the same thing. Um, there are also dousing rods. I, I'm not really into those, but some people use those too um, for manifesting or finding water. Mm. Um, things like that. So, alright. Hope you enjoyed the video.